Right, so this is the question I'm sure a lot of people would like to know. Does the colour bleed? Does it come off on clothes, material, what have you? Hey guys, this is Miss Lauren Lee 11. Thank you for coming back. If you're new, welcome. And today, if it looks like I'm wearing the same stuff from my last video, that is very true. I'm giving you a two for one here, guys. So in my last video, I done a comparison of the Eco Styler and the IC Gel. And what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm going to color my hair. So whilst my hair is wet, I'm going to ombre my hair. I am now going to be using this. So this is a hair wax and this is something that I've seen on Instagram, I've seen a lot of people use it on YouTube and I thought why not, you know, purple hair, I think it would look cute. So you know, anyone that wants the option of having their hair dyed only temporary, then this would be perfect. So I'm going to go and give this a try, as I said, whilst my hair is wet, I'm literally going to ombre it so I'm just doing the ends. So this is how it comes sealed but guys I did open it last night when I get new products guys I, I'm just like a kid when it comes to new hair products I literally I have to just open them straight away so I've opened it it smells like a reminds me of a conditioner or a shampoo as you can see it's got a lovely metallic -y color and the reason why I chose purple is I remember scrolling through Pinterest and there was this girl who had beautiful curly natural hair and she had a purple hair color on it and it just looks so amazing and I wasn't brave enough to dye my hair purple I'm gonna go ahead and apply this and just show you guys so if we just touch it here it's like a pomade it's quite thick so you can see you have to tap it I'm gonna scoop it so like as, as a sculpting wax I guess so do my subsections as usual okay so I'm gonna rub it in my hands and then I'm left with that do you know what guys, the little kid in me is coming out. I really want to go on my wall and just... Okay, so this is what I've got so far. See, I won't see the full effects until my hair is completely dried. So I thought it'd be a lot thicker to apply and it seems to be good with the gel it's not mix it's not ball in with the gel which I thought it may do Okay, so this is what I've got so far guys. I think I'm just gonna go back on the ends just to make them a little bit more brighter. So you get the ombre effect. Okay, so this is what I'm left with, okay? So guys, I will have to come back to you tomorrow and show you the end results. But let me just show you from the back. Okay, so I'm gonna go and wash all this stuff off my hand because right now it's looking like that little girl from the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, you know, the one that turned into a blueberry. So I'm gonna go wash my hands. I'm gonna see how well this washes off, off my hands. I'll come back to you in a second. I'll let you know if it really does wash off my hands. <laughs> okay, guys, so I've come back. It washes off nicely, okay? And this was mostly just water and a little bit of soap. All right, guys, so I'll come back to you tomorrow and let me know what you think. Hey guys, so welcome back. This is the second day of, sorry, third day, I tell a lie. So I done my hair on Sunday, so today's Tuesday. This is about the third day from when I did my wash and go, but second day here, if that makes sense. Okay guys, um, I've had some questions asked, and I'm gonna be answering these questions for you today. And the first one being, what brand did I use? And this is the brand, 
So, when I bought it, it said that it was a metallic colour, as you can see it is. It looks very, very popping and bold and sharp <laughs> in the bright light. I was just in my bathroom and I'm using a ring light right now, so whilst I was just in my bathroom, under normal light, <laughs> my hair wasn't as sharp as it is now. But question two, where did I purchase this from? I bought it from eBay and um, this cost me, I believe, I think I said $6.99. So it's quite affordable. And as you can see guys, I've got that amount left in the tub. The depth of the tub is this and there's still quite a bit in there. So as you can see guys, this is what I'm talking about. When the light hits, you can see it really shines. So obviously that's what's going on with my hair. The question number three was, did I add any other products whilst applying the wax? And the question is yes. If you watched my video before this where I was comparing two gels, I applied the gel first and then I applied the wax once my hair was fully styled and coated. But once my hair started to dry, the colour started to dim down. So I had to then reapply it whilst my hair was dry. But to be honest, I think um, you can still do it on wet hair, which is fine. And then if you want lighter ends, obviously then apply it once the hair's dry. So that's a good way to get an ombre effect on your hair. So apply the wax, the hair colour, when the hair's wet to have a kind of duller tone. And then to brighten it up at the ends, as I said, apply it on dry hair. Right, so this is the question I'm sure a lot of people would like to know. Does the colour bleed? Does it come off on clothes, material, what have you? As you can see guys, I'm wearing this cream close to white turtleneck. And reason being, not because I wanted to do this video to show you today, but I did actually just want to wear this today. <laughs> but I trusted that the hair product wouldn't rub off on my clothes so much that I did put this on. So I'm going to show you now on my fingers. I'm just going to rub. Okay, as you can see, very, very slightly, and that's me rubbing aggressively. That's all that comes off. You wouldn't rub your ends of your hair like that, I'm sure you wouldn't. <laughs> okay, and again, on my clothes, let me just try it. Okay, I'm sure some purple just came off there, I'm not, I can't see 100%. Maybe a little bit, but to be honest, again, I'm not rubbing my clothes, my hair on my clothes like that. For how my hair's sitting, it doesn't rub off. I've had on a bright scarf today, and I've had on this top, and not, it hasn't rubbed off. Unless I've rubbed it on there, as you just saw, which I don't do with my hair, then obviously it doesn't rub off. Okay, third test I'm going to try though. I got the water bottle, so let me just see how it works with the water bottle. So I'm just going to spritz a couple of strands. Okay, so remember this is a washout product. So I'm going to spritz. As you can see these strands are damp. So there you go. It starts to come off when the hair is wet. Okay. So it does come off when the hair is wet. So there's your answer. So the thing to not do is get your hair wet whilst you have it in. It is a temporary hair wax and it washes out in the next wash. So therefore, you know, if you are going to have a shower, what have you, it's best to wear a shower cap. Leading on to the next question, how long does it last? So, it lasts as long as you wear your style. What I mean by that is, I wear my wash and go for a week, that's how long it's going to last. Because once you've washed your hair, it washes out. But then you can reapply it again, so how long it lasts depends on how many times you apply it, I guess. But how long it lasts between washes is once, okay? Um, now the last question is, does it make your hair dry out? As you can see, my hair is very juicy. My curls are very shiny. In fact, it gives my hair shine. My hair is not dry. It doesn't feel harmful to my hair. It doesn't feel like my hair is stripped, dried out, what have you. It just literally feels like it's got a, um, a setting hold on, on the ends of my hair and that's it really. But nothing, it's not even crunchy. It's just... It's not greasy. It's, see, this is the thing. I can't differentiate between the gel hold and the wax hold. So I'm thinking it's a bit of both. But to be honest, I think the hold that I can feel at the ends is more so the gel. It doesn't feel tacky. Definitely not tacky. It doesn't feel crunchy. It doesn't feel heavy. It's very lightweight, as you can see. And you can, you know, fluff your hair. And you see my hair doesn't have any restrictions. So, yeah. Okay. And... Last question is to you guys. Would you try this? 
and if so what color leave your comments down below thank you for watching this video i hope this review was helpful to you and if you do try please guys follow me on instagram and dm me some pictures or you can follow my facebook at miss lauren lee 11 and i'll have a look over there thank you for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one bye